Well, welcome to Bark House and Nature Bites. Today we're talking about this guy, Bubba, our bullfrog, who lives here at Bark House in our nature center. So Bubba is a bullfrog, and bullfrogs are native of North America. They actually are our largest frog. Bubba isn't actually from Wisconsin, though. Bubba is actually from California. We got them shipped over here many years ago, and they have ponds over there where they breed bullfrogs for nature centers and schools. We didn't want to take one of the bullfrogs in the wild out here at Bark House, because we do have bullfrogs out here in our ponds, and sometimes between mid-May to July, when they're starting to breed, you're going to hear their call. It's like a barum, a barum, a barum, right? Yeah, he'll go with that. So bullfrogs, again, are native to Wisconsin. Um, you might have heard of them called bismaroons, especially up by O'Connell and Pashtunglet area. They'll sometimes call them bismaroons. And they like large wetlands, especially the ones behind me. Those kind of float around in there, waiting for things. Anything basically that fits in their mouth, they're going to gobble it up. So it could be all the frogs, it could be fish, insects, baby birds if one gets a little too close. Anything that can fit in the mouth, they're going to grab for sure. So what's going to happen in mid, about mid-May to about July, they're going to be calling and breeding. The female bullfrog will lay about 10 to 20,000 eggs and the eggs will hatch after, after about four days. And then tadpoles, when they're swimming around, it's gonna take a year to two years for them to actually develop into a bullfrog. So they're not gonna to turn to a frog that year likely. What's gonna happen is they're gonna overwinter, they're gonna hibernate as a tadpole, and then the following spring, they might turn into an adult frog or maybe take one more year. Depends on those eggs were laid. So if you ever see tadpoles early in the spring, they could be from a green frog. Green frogs also do this. It'll take one year usually, or it could be from a bullfrog. And on the note of green frogs, these are obviously, bullfrogs are very green, but if you're curious what's the difference between a green frog and a bullfrog, other than the size, one big key thing to look for is right by the eardrum, right there at the circle right by my finger's pointing, there's a ridge of skin, we call that a dorsal lateral ridge. And if that ridge of skin wraps around the eardrum, you got a bullfrog. If that ridge of skin goes down the back, you got a green frog. And obviously the size will tell you a big difference as well. And if you look on their throats, if it's very yellowish and they have very large eardrums, you got a boy bullfrog. This one's definitely a boy. Girl bullfrogs won't have as large of an eardrum. Usually those eardrums are roughly about the same, the same size as the eyes. And I usually say it's that way because boys are better listeners, maybe. So bullfrogs, again, pretty, they're getting a little more common now. We just started hearing more in the last couple years here at Bark House. And they weren't as common for some years. Now they're starting to make a comeback. And they're going to have that big baroom call. You can always listen for it. And if you're curious what happens to them in the winter, they'll hibernate in the bottom of the wetlands like what's behind me. And if you wonder, well, how do they breathe in the bottom of wetland all winter long? Because they have lungs like we do. Well, they can actually absorb enough oxygen through their skin. So, Bubba a Bullfrog, he's very excited here. I think we're going to get him back in his tank. Look forward to Bullfrogs. Listen for him if you're hiking anywhere large, long, or by a large wetland, especially in the west shore of Wisconsin. We hope to enjoy this episode of Bark Owls and Nature Bites.